Glaciers in the Alps have been retreating more and more in recent decades, but what happens in the summer of 2022 and in this transition to autumn surpasses even the most pessimistic predictions. As early as May, it was clear that glaciers would be particularly vulnerable in the summer because of little or almost no snowpack after months of drought. And the summer of 2022 broke many records as the hottest in Europe since there is data. There were very long heat waves with very high zero temperatures, and the situation came to a head. The extremely high temperatures, even at high altitudes, think of the many days when the zero temperature was well above 5,000 meters in June, July, August triggered accelerated melting processes. The most dramatic consequence was the collapse of the Marmolata Glacier in Italy on July 3, which killed 11 people, but throughout the Alps the summer was marked by calving, accelerated melting, landslides triggered by thawing permafrost, and the disappearance of large amounts of ice. So what is the situation at the end of summer? Let's now take a look at the state of alpine glaciers at the end of summer 2022 in Italy, France, Switzerland, and Austria, starting with the glaciers in Italy. Alpine glaciers in Italy at the end of the hot and dry summer of 2022. On Monte Rosa, the Indran glacier experienced a frontal retreat of 64 meters in just two years, between August 2020 and 2022. Last year alone, the retreat was 40 meters, a value that has never been recorded in the last 50 years and is highly worrying for a glacier that is over 3,000 meters above sea level. The Boers Glacier also experienced a sharp decline, with 18 meters in two years, including 7 meters between 2020 and 2021 and 11 meters between 2021 and 2022. On Monte Rosa, the Indran Glacier has retreated by 40 meters in the last year alone, a figure that has never been recorded in the last 50 years and is highly worrying for a glacier that is over 3,000 meters above sea level. Another major alpine glacier in Italy is the Forni Glacier in Lombardy, the second largest glacier in Italy has experienced a frontal retreat of more than 40 meters in the last year, adding up to a total of about 400 meters in the last 10 years, and has thus lost its Himalayan status as it has fragmented into three glacier bodies. In 14 years it has lost about 100 billion liters of water, at least 100 million cubic meters of ice, while the Prater Bar Glacier has recorded an average linear retreat of 18 meters per year since 1990. An exception to this dramatic picture is the western Montazio Glacier in Friuli Venezia Giulia, an example of a small but resilient glacier that, unlike other alpine glaciers, has stabilized since 2005, although it suffered a volume loss of about 75% and a reduction in thickness of 40 meters in a century. In recent months, there have also been other signs in the Alps, such as the large landslides on some of the most famous 4,000-meter peaks, such as the Matterhorn and Mont Blanc. In both cases, these phenomena were triggered by a combination of factors, including high temperatures and altitude. Heat at altitude melts permafrost, which accelerates the instability of rock slopes. Alpine glaciers in Switzerland at the end of the hot and dry summer of 2022. A field study showed a huge melt that took place on the glaciers last year, completely beyond anything we've observed before. Called a saint Florent without ice, this has not happened for at least 2,000 years. The disappearance of the ice on the Col de saint Florent dot on the mountain pass, located at the confluence of the saint Florent and Saxe Rouge glaciers at an altitude of 2,800 meters, rock has reappeared due to record ice melt. This has not happened for at least 2,000 years, as there is written evidence from the ancient Romans. Alpine glaciers in France at the end of the hot and dry summer of 2022. The summer of 2022 was also deadly in France, both because of the heat and the lack of snowfall last winter. By May, the snow had almost completely melted at altitude, leaving the glacier masses uncovered during the warmer months. The summer of extreme heat and lack of snow cover dramatically accelerated the melting of glaciers in the Acren Massif between Haute Alp and Isère an area where climatologists predict glacier retreat of 85 to 95 percent by the end of the century. Zemaire de Glossons a French site off Mont Blanc, a glacier that has already shrunk by 700 meters in the past 30 years, according to 2015 data, is also in retreat. According to the French Institute of Environmental Geosciences, under a medium scenario and a temperature increase of 2.5 degrees Celsius by the end of the century, the glacier massif will lose 80% of its surface area by 2100 compared to the beginning of the 21st century. According to the most pessimistic models, the glacier could disappear completely between 2090 and 2100. Alpine glaciers in Austria at the end of the hot and dry summer of 2022. Austria is the other European country with the last major alpine glaciers, and this dramatic year of 2022 is no different. 
In Western Austria, data show a melt rate twice as high as in recent years, which were already characterized by rapid melting. A very alarming situation at the Posterza glacier in the Grossglockner area, which has the longest glacier tongue in the Eastern Alps, over 8 kilometers long. This year increasingly large crevasses are observed and according to scientists, it is about to break in two. The landscape in this alpine region is also changing at a rapid pace, and the final disappearance of the glaciers is approaching ever faster.